Hello and welcome to me, Tarot Isle. Today for your uh, for a weekly reading, I'm going to be doing a candle divination for you for the week of Valentine's Day and on Valent for Valentine's Day itself. And what it's going to be, it's going to be a candle divinational divi and what it's going to be is a candle divination uh, reading for you. Um, I do have other candle uh, divination videos. Uh, I'll put the link to it up here in one of the corners for you and uh, possibly I'll put the playlist at the end of the video. Um, so you can just go into that playlist and find your zodiac sign and uh, you can watch because I, I do a complete walkthrough on how on how to perform a uh, candle divination so you could do this at home as well. You know what type of candle to use, how to bless the candle, uh, what spirits and en energy that you're calling into the candle and putting your how to put your own intent and your own energy into the paper and so on and so on and how to use protection and the whole process is uh, is played out for you so just just to keep this short though to keep this video a little shorter I'm going to just walk through it just a titch for you and, sh and explain how it's done just very quickly, not with all the uh, ritual, no, I won't say ritual, but not with all the, um, not everything. So the first of all, you need to select a piece of paper. You're going to write your name on it. Since this is for Valentine's general right now, just for show, I'm writing Valentine's on it. You light your candle, you take your paper, and you're going to, I'm going to be going uh, with the paper. I'm going to be doing this part off camera, though, for you. You take the paper, and this can take up to uh, anywhere from five to twenty minutes to, uh, you know, to put your intent in it. And right now, I'm, I'm just kind of speeding through this here, just to get some smudges on the paper to show you. But this can take a good twenty minutes or more to really get uh, some clear images and get that the candle going on the paper. Here it goes. See, it's starting to form some right now. Alright, so, okay, as you can see now, there's some candle smudges here. These are really pronounced ones, but the more the closer you look to the paper, um, like, like there's some right here, there's some right here, and there's some right here, there's some down here that's not showing real pronounced in this picture. So, what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to outline... I'm going to grab a pencil and I'm going to outline all the smudges, all the smudges that I see. So, you know, then I'll, I'll come back, I'll come back on camera and I will show you everything, all the smudges that I've outlined. And we'll, I'll talk about it some and then I'll, I'll shut the camera off and I'll go and I'll shade in everything and I'll come back to you. Um, shade it in and then I will tell you your reading from what the smudges, what the candle passion from the candle's flame is giving to you for your reading for this week. Okay, so uh, hang on and I'll be right back with your candle smudges. Alright Taurus, I have your smudges uh, outlined for you so I'll go over it real quickly with you and then I'll do some shading and I'll be back with your reading. All right, so right here, okay. So right here, you have what looks like an L and an O. That could be L, you know, starting of the L O L L, laughing out loud. Uh, you could say possibly here that this shape right here is kind of like a capital L. So it could be L O L. All right, or maybe this is donut. Well, this also could be a donut. And this obviously, this obviously here is a star. Big bright sunshine star. Okay. And then what we have over here looks like a bow tie. You know, with the with the neck part on it. So it, like it goes a bow tie to a tuxedo. This is what this is reminding me of a tuxedo tie, bow tie. And then here, which I was kind of saying, that looked like a sh uh, 
capital L, is in the shape of a shoe. You see it? Comes down around like that. It goes around and here's the heel of the shoe. So it's kind of like, you know, Cinderella, right? The glass slipper. And um, we have two hearts. You have a heart here, and there's a heart here that formed from the candle uh, flame. And then it, it's just kind of a little bit interesting here. You have L O, and there's a could this could be an I, and this shoe here could be an S. So that this could be representing a name. It could be Louise, Lois, or Lewis, because you do there is a U involved. Here. Somewhat, because that's in the form, you know, that's in the name of the Taurus here. There's the U right here. Okay. And there's one more thing that I see. That's a bird. It's a bird. Let me see. Did I turn that right for the camera? Yeah. It's a bird here. There's a bird. Um, it's a bird. <laughs> Okay, so let me color this all in for you, and I'll be back with your reading. Just give me a moment. Thank you. All right, Taurus, I am back with your shaded in candle divination uh, smudges here. All right, so like I was saying, here's an L and an O. I colored them in blue and pink. Um, this, like I was saying, could be an, an uh, capital L. <laughs> capital L for LOL, so there may be a lot of laugh, there's going to be a lot of laughter, lots of fun uh, celebrations uh, this week, uh, Valentine's Day week here, or even on Valentine's Day. And I'm also seeing, as I was saying, I'm seeing a, a bow tie here that goes with a tuxedo. And then I'm seeing this as a shoe as well. It's just not a capital L, it's also a uh, Reminding me of Cinderella's glass slipper. So it's very likely that it's possible you could be getting an engagement. There's an engagement coming along. It could possibly be as well as maybe you're going to uh, maybe you're going to get married on Valentine's Day. All right, and it's also showing since this is a tuxedo tie, you know, and a glass slipper that maybe you're going to maybe you're going to be going out on. A, you know, to a, a fancy dance, you know, a fancy dance, somewhere that you have to you dress up nice, you know, be real fancy, go out to a dance, uh, I was going to say a ball, but then again, that's relating to Cinderella, but, um, you know, ballroom dancing, perhaps, okay? Then you have this little sunburst here, which is all ready, you know, it's all bursting, and it's... It's bursting, it's full of creativity and light and just, you know, the light's just shining down on this, this, it's just shining down on the whole scenario of your candle divination here as well. A lot of brightness, sunshine, happiness, lots of happiness. And uh, also, as I was saying, this, I don't know if, um, there's some names that you could take uh, out of this reading as well. There's, there's, it could, L-O, this could be the I, and this could be an S. Or you could take L-O-I-S here from the word Taurus. There's your S here. And then there's a U here as well, and you're in the name Taurus. So it's L-O, you know, it's these here, what I'm getting at, these names, these letters can represent Possibly the word Lewis, Lois, or Louise. That's coming up pretty prominent here, those three names. So if any of those names mean anything to you, please take that into consideration here uh, in this reading as well. We also, I don't know if I had mentioned this, but there is two hearts here. There's one heart here and there's one heart here. Alright, and then I'm gonna turn I'm gonna turn the paper. These bird, this bird that I was speaking of, the more I kept looking at it, the odder I thought it kept looking, you know? It's like, what kind of bird is that? I don't know. I, but I, I know it was a bird, you know? I could tell it was a bird. And what, I'm fig what I've had figured out here with more uh, 
concentration meditating here on the candle uh, smudges is it's actually it's it's two birds it's love it's love birds okay I, I shaded them different colors so this one here is a brown you know here's his belly right here here's the belly of the brown bird his head of course and his beak his eye and then you have this little bird then you have a little bird over here as well I colored in the beak oh, it was orange as well a little blue Oh, I colored it in blue. Then you have a, a bird over here as well. And uh, the letter U here, that's from your name Taurus, kind of gave a, you know, it gives kind of some more definition to the, these birds. You know, this is where the brown bird's wing will, would start. And you know, this is, and then this here. Uh, this part of the U, then here, is part of the blue bird's uh, tail. And what's really interesting is that the little bird, that these lovebirds here, there's two, there's hearts, there's hearts, you know, surrounding the little lovebirds. And the little lovebird is carrying a banner. This is a banner he's carrying, or she, or maybe possibly you could just say they, you know, they're carrying a banner. A banner is for success and, and victory and telling your story and, and showing off and celebrations, celebrating. And as I said, you know, this because the sunshine, it's bright. It's giving you lots of creativity, a lot of newness, and, you know, bringing in lots of light. And this could also be a burst, you know, a, a burst of fireworks as well for the celebration. For a celebration. And there's going to be a lot of laughter, a lot of laughter, a lot of fun in this celebration. So that's what I'm getting here for Valentine's Day for you, Taurus. As some of you may be getting married or engaged, uh, you may be going to a ball, a fancy dance. Um, it's definitely going to be uh, definitely going to be some romance and, and some love exchanged. So you do have two lovebirds with the you have the two lovebirds with the heart, and of course you have the the fireworks and the celebration banner up here. Alright Taurus, so let's go ahead and pull one uh, oracle card for you as well. Let's see let's see what the oracle cards are saying for you. They're saying your mind, your mind is an altar to source energy. Your mind is an altar to source energy. So, yeah. <laughs> um... Hmm. Well, I'm just going to leave you with that. <laughs> All right. Your mind is an altar of, to the source energy. All right. There's your reading. I thank you, and please like, share, and subscribe, and I hope to see you again. Bye now.